Good afternoon, Dell Tech Vision Report Training Projects. I'm going to cover report configuration and setting defaults. Demonstrate this using various reports at cost, project detail, project summary, office earnings. Management reports first and foremost must be timely, accurate, and meaningful. Let's get going. I'm going to navigate the dashboard. Where do I want to go? I'm going to go to reporting and I'm going to go to my uh, projects and what I see is my report grid. So report grids are used to select a report, set its options, restrict the records included, save settings, create report favorites, or use existing ones. Related options such as previewing, printing, scheduling, and emailing reports are all done in the report grids. When you click on the icon in the options column on the reports grid, Vision displays one or more of the following options tab. It really depends on the type of report you're running. In this case, I'm showing project detail options as there are a lot of options. So your general tab um, options will allow you to do things like change your report name. And then it has a very large list of specific report options in save report specific options uh, for use in future reporting sessions. You apply the existing set of saved options or you can re uh, restore your system defaults. Options. Again, you can choose on this tab whether or not you're going to run your report, reports at cost or billing and show some other options. Do I want to show my project information? Do I have project user defined fields or print the project memo? Activity. You would use this to filter out what kinds of information you want on the report. So only want active projects or active phases or active tasks. I may only want uh, year to date information or job to date information, and that's where this takes place. Unique to the project detail, you use the labor and expense tab. It displays labor information. Um, this report is going to show you regular overtime, total number of hours work for each employee. It also shows labor code, task, phase, and project. It shows detail. If your security level lets you see labor amounts, the report also displays the regular and overtime amounts. It's unique in that an asterisk to the left of the detail line indicates the transaction was transferred from another project. A U indicates it's an unbilled transaction. You use this tab to limit the expenses and labor included on the detail report. Sorting grouping tab. Use the sorting grouping tab to make it possible for you to sort and group your data to determine the sequence of which data appears on the report. You can combine multiple sort criteria. If you do, the lowest level of sort has the most detailed information. For example, if you sort by project and then by task, the task level has the most detailed information. In this tab, please you know, take a look at using the collapse or the expand button to show summary or detailed information in your preview. As desired, see the example above. So if I were to click on this plus sign, that will expand the information under the project manager. Column tabs. Use the column tab to select the columns you want to view. You can uh, tick and untick them and move them up and down or change their order. You can edit the column headings. Uh, we're up here we have edit column headings and set the indent for the first column or set the uh, <clears throat> indent for the entire report and you can format your numbers and your date and time and your centering and your alignment are all done here. It also has the ability to add calculations to your report using existing columns and simple math. Layout tab. You use the layout tab to set the type, the font, the margins, orientation, and the page size for the report. Once established, these new settings remain in effect until you change them. What you want to do if you've gone through all your selections, you would then hit apply um, to apply everything you've selected for this report. If you want to restrict the records included in the report, you return to your report grid, click in the uh, selection column and the magnifying glass icon to display the corresponding lookup dialog. What comes up is the project lookup because we're on a project report uh, and you'll see a magnifying glass. 
Select the standard by using the drop-down list in the display field. Select the type of criteria you want to search by using the, down, the, the search by field. The drop-down search by field, such as client number, name. Enter search data that narrows your search to an employee's last name or the beginning of a project number or a wildcard expression. Select only active display less records or those projects or records whose status is currently only active. Click search a list of records matching your criteria displays. Return if you want to click to the magnifying glass again located in the upper right hand of the corner uh, to display the lookup list. Select advanced from the display type drop down list the advanced search form appears. Enter the desired search type using the drop down list for the search type field. Again client number, employee name, the drop down arrow appears when you click anywhere in the search type field. You can also enter comparative using the drop down list for the operator field which appears when you click anywhere in the operator field. The operator field's right here. Click inside the search list field to display the magnifying glass, then click once on that icon to display a box that corresponds to the search type. In the search list box, highlight records you wish to display and then select select. Select one of the logical operators to add another criteria. Use the drop down list for the conditional, which appears when you click anywhere in the conditional field. Archiving reports. Select the archives tab to retrieve previously run reports. Vision displays those reports that you re have already run with the number of pages, folder location, creation date and time, version number listed for each report. Any reports that you schedule without specifying that they be printed immediately or after generation are also listed as previously run reports on the reports grid. Back to my uh, report grid. Once a favorite report exists, you can use the report grid or a link on your dashboard to run the favorite whenever you'd like. When you run a favorite report, Vision automatically applies all the options and settings and retrieves data from the appropriate records. Each favorite report has a check mark in the favorite field on the reports grid. The name of a favorite report may or may not be the same as the standard version of the report. Additionally, you can have multiple versions of a favorite report saved under different names. The report grid may also contain global favorites or role specified specific favorites created by other users when you may <clears throat> which you may use but may not change or delete because they were created by other users. If you design a report format that you want to see again, consider turning it into a favorite report, one that you can run again in any future reporting session. Once you have created a favorite, it takes just one click on the report grid to generate a favorite report with current data. All report options, including settings and the general grouping, columns, drill down, and missed tabs, come along. Current data search, specifying the set of records for which data is drawn for the inclusion in the report. You may also want to <coughs> create one or more favorites for any report. You cannot delete, create, rename, delete global favorites. Organize favorites option. The contents of the Organized Favorite Option dialog and thus the procedures available to you for saving favorite reports depend on the security configuration in Vision. You can, may only have option to save only where you can create, modify, save, or delete only your personal favorites. Save for my role. So in addition to creating, modifying, or saving, you're deleting your own favorites. You may also save favorites for use by coworkers who share your security role. Save for all roles. You can create, modify, or delete your own personal favorites, role-specific favorites for those who share your security role, and global favorites for all reporting users at the firm. Using, modifying, and deleting favorites. Back to my display grid. Um, I can select a report. I'll tell you the project summary. Set report options in one of two ways. Select the records from the data which is to be taken in one of two ways. Then click Organize Favorites on the Reports Grid to display the Organize My Project Summary Favorite dialog. In the Favorite Name field, enter a name for your favorite. Click Save to save your favorite. Preview and Print. I want to 
preview report, you can resize or move the preview page on your screen. To preview a report, display the report script, select a report, click preview on the reporting toolbar, vision opens the report on the preview page. To print a report, go to the display reports grid, select a report, click on print, or you can print from the preview report. And here's a project detail and for, on a preview, and you're going to be able to um, print from the preview, uh, email from the preview, download various formats, including Excel and PDF, and close. Another sample of a preview report where I'm navigating it. This icon, we can show or hide the document map at the top left of the screen to navigate quickly to a particular project um, here and navigate on the navigation bar to get to a particular project number. Here's another example of a preview. This is a project summary, and I can have a show advanced um, uh, or hide search, and this grid will pop up if you want to show it, and I can further uh, search uh, my report in preview mode. Um, so if I were searching and I had criteria, my results are able to be exported to Excel. And those same results can be further sorted and filtered um, and grouped together uh, for greater control. And that's an example of an office earnings report. An example of a project progress report. Set user defaults for your reports. You can select, you can set a set of saved options to use for your personal defaults. If you do, your personal default options take precedence over the global options set for your role or all roles. So to do that, to set user default for uh, report options, display the report grid in any report. Select the report on the option tab. Click the arrow button down beside the saved options field to display a dialog box. Listen to folders of saved options available to you. Click the folder containing the saved set you want. Click on the name of the saved set you want to set as your default. Vision displays a pop-up menu. Select Use Default. Click Apply. And this is what it looks like. You can schedule a favorite report, a standard report, or a profile to run at another time. And this is the grid view. When you uh, report grid view, you go to schedule. And what I have here are my options, to, the, my main options, my recurring options, and my parameters. Display the reports grid. Select a favorite report. Click schedule on the reporting toolbar to display the dialog box, the schedule dialog box on the main tab. Select the queue. The queues are set from configuration, so you may need that done to which you're submitting the report. Enter a text description that you find helpful to identify this job. In the run afters field, set the date and the time after which the report is to be generated. Use the options tab if you need to specify that Vision should run this report in the current and the prior period. Use the recurrence tab to set up the favorite to be generated on a regular basis, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. When you're finished, click OK. If you're saving a set of reporting options or saving a search, you can simultaneously create a folder in which to hold it. To do this, you type directly in the folder name on the dialog you're using. You use the backslash between folder names to indicate the path or nesting as seen here. Example, suppose you want to save reporting options related to the Fenway Park project in a single folder. Within this folder, you want to keep subfolders name by report type, project reports, employees reports, and so on. In the folder name field on the organize options dialog, you type in personal options, Fenway project, project reports. In the save name field, you enter project progress, you click saved. Your entry would look like this. The resulting folder structure would look like this.